Uh, we collect data from and do surveys uh, all across the world in in uh, in the states, in Europe, in Asia. So I have data about all different countries, including this. Do you do you want me to start by talking about that or? Yeah, please. Yeah, okay. Just, just go along like in a natural conversation. <laughs> okay. I'm not very corporate. Uh, <laughs> can just chat right Okay. In. So um, yes, we uh, we uh, survey people. Uh, in all these these countries, and I'll just let you know a little bit about uh, Italians. This data is from last last year, so we're updating this now. Uh, of uh, online people in Italy, about half are using social technologies at least once a month. Uh, now, this includes people who just read stuff. They look at online video. They they read blogs, things like that. It also includes people who are more active and create content. So if you want to look at those more active people, 11% uh, of Italians at the time we measured it were in social networks like uh, Facebook or LinkedIn. I gather from talking to some other Italians that, that uh, this has changed a lot recently as Facebook has become more popular. So we'll have to see if that number increases in our surveys this year. And uh, about 22% of Italians create content, they write blogs, they upload video. This is a number that's actually higher than Europeans in general. So it seems as if once the Italians uh, get started, they, they're more interested in creating than the average, uh, the average European consumer. And these numbers, they're, they're uh, in many cases a little lower than in the States. It's probably about six months behind in the growth, but it seems to be growing rapidly. So, uh, you know, some Italians have told me, well, we're doing this, but we're doing it more slowly. I don't see that. If you look just at the online Italian population, their participation is, is pretty active and getting more active all the time.